In today's video, what I learned from my first show to my last show. Many of you guys know that I've been competing in natural bodybuilding since 2011. And while I might have only done 10 shows over the course of my eight and a half year career so far, I have learned a lot along the way. And I wanted to share what I learned from my first show to what I learned from my last show. And I thought it would be a great video and potentially help some people along the way uh, to kind of grasp what is actually important within natural bodybuilding and what they should focus on. So I will start off <laughs> with my first show and I'm laughing because I was laughable. Uh, I dieted for a total of three weeks for this show because my dad saw it in the local newspaper and I decided I was going to go and compete. He told me to go and watch, just check it out. And I told him if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and compete. So I crash dieted for three weeks Lost probably like seven pounds in three weeks, probably mostly water weight, maybe a little bit of fat, and did all the cardio in the world. Uh, didn't practice posing my mandatories whatsoever. Didn't do any research. And I only focused on putting together a great choreographed routine to the song Iron Man. I believe it's by Black Sabbath. I don't quote me on that, might be wrong. But anyway, <laughs> because of Iron Man, the movie came out like around that same time. And I competed in the team class and I got destroyed because I didn't know how to pose in the mandatories. But yet I came out to this great choreographed Iron Man routine. Uh, the kid that I competed against in the team class hit three poses and walked off stage. So I thought that, oh man, I had this in the bag. Little did I realize that the routine had this much impact on the outcome and that the mandatories were actually where it was at. So I lost and I came back the next year learning the importance of the mandatories. So from year one to year two, I learned that the mandatories were the most important thing to practice. Uh, so I pretty much brought a little bit better improved physique from my first year to my second year when I was 19 to 20. I placed a little bit better. I dieted a little bit longer. So I guess, you know, the second thing I learned was, you know, dieting a little bit longer is probably a little bit more beneficial. I think I dieted maybe like 18 weeks uh, for that second year. So going from three weeks, 18 weeks, you know, I figured, hey, you know, six times as long, probably look a little bit better. And I did. Uh, but what I learned from my next off season uh, was that time off is extremely important for natural athletes. So like I said, I competed from when I was 19 to 20 in a short time span, like 12 months, essentially from stage to stage. And I realized in order to make legitimate progress, I needed to take a longer time off. So from 2012 to 2015, stage to stage, I took off and I competed again in 2015 and I came in much larger uh, so I went from 20 to 23. Uh, that year I did earn my pro status uh, and I thought it was you know, pretty great to be able to turn pro at such a young age. But what I learned that year is although I did win a pro show that year as well, a uh, smaller NGA show at the time, uh, I went and competed in the I FPA at the time, now IPE, and I learned that that conditioning is not everything. So I went to Minnesota and competed, I wanna say against like maybe nine or 10 guys. And I think I ended up in like seventh or eighth. And I wasn't too happy about that <laughs> because I'm like, I am the leanest mf -er up here. How come I didn't win? And then after looking at the pictures, after taking a little bit of time to reflect, that eight hour drive home from Minnesota had a lot of time to reflect. I remember not necessarily talking to my wife a whole lot during that ride home because I wasn't too happy how I placed. 
Uh, I realized that being the most shredded guy on stage is not the most important thing. Granted, conditioning is great, but I had to have the muscularity that was necessary in order to compete at a high level in order to place. So fast forward from 2015 to 2018, I'm kind of putting together all these pieces from what I learned. You know, from the first year I learned that the mandatories are the most important thing ever. So I obviously practice my mandatories all the time. I don't know how I feel about this and I think some people might laugh at me, but I usually put my posing routines together the night before the show or the weekend of the show <laughs> because I've just, I know that it doesn't necessarily go towards anything. Sure, it might be flashy and have the audience hooting and hollering, um, but I really don't put that much effort into my posing routine because they're not judged. So I put a ton of time uh, into my mandatories. I obviously took a lot of time off and though I changed my strategy for dieting in order to come in bigger, I focused a lot more on training and I didn't focus so much on cardio for this last season. Uh, so I kind of put all these things together and turned out great you know, in 2018 when I competed last. Now, what have I learned from my last show to now? Obviously, I haven't been competing. I'm in the biggest surplus of my life. I'm at the heaviest I have ever been, and I'm not gonna compete for a little bit of time. But what have I taken from last season and applied to now? Well, most of it comes down to training, obviously, because a surplus is a surplus. You can only eat so much and gain so much muscle. A lot of it has been focused on my overall training. So as the years go on, I would say that a lot of people's focus needs to go towards their training and evaluating their training, the quality of your training. Are you giving yourself you know, enough volume? Are you get, paying attention enough to your weak parts? Because later on in your career, as I've been doing, you know, I'm eight and a half years deep, uh, you need to start trying to bring up weak points if you have them. As far as my strategy goes for my next competition of what I'm gonna try to do is probably actually decrease the amount of time that I'll be in a deficit. Last year, uh, I should say in 2018, I did diet for a long time because my season started in August and it ended in November. So I think I'm going to actually decrease the amount of time that I'm in a deficit in order to bring a larger look. And we'll see what kind of conditioning I bring next time. I don't wanna to sacrifice too, too much just because over the shows that I've gone for the past couple of years, once again, it's not always the most shredded guy who wins. You know, it's a balance of everything. So next time around, while I do plan to bring a very respectable amount of conditioning, I wanna make sure that my muscularity is super high. So that's what I've learned over my bodybuilding career. I hope that you guys have found it insightful. Hopefully it helps you depending on where, you at, where you're at in your bodybuilding career. As always guys, keep dominating every aspect and I'll see you very soon.